Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm Mac. Okay, so I have been getting a lot of questions lately in my inbox. People are asking me what to do about this situation, about that situation. The two main situations that keep popping up are breakups, your man left you, or he left you for a younger woman, or a different type of woman, and you're trying to get him back. Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all why these men are leaving, okay? First of all, certain men don't like to be bossed around by a woman or they don't like to feel like they're living with their mothers so if you're always constantly nagging him telling him to do this this and that and you know um don't lift him up and make him feel like he's a man or whatever he's gonna go find someone who can they can be ugly they can be ratchet they can be disgusting but as long as they make him feel like a man that's what he it's gonna go for it okay you can be the most beautiful woman in the world have everything going for yourself but if he doesn't feel like a man with you then he's not gonna be turned on by you anymore and he's not going to want to please you and he's not gonna to want to come home okay so I'm just keeping it real y'all um, I know so many women who will tell me well I told him this and he didn't do this and no man wants to live with their mother forever okay and if you're acting like his mom instead of his partner or his woman, then he's going to go find someone who will act the way he wants to be treated. Okay? And that's just it. You can be with, If you don't have a ring on your finger, if you're not his wife, even if, even if you are his wife, he's not going to want to be bossed around, especially by a woman. Okay? Um, now, this is where the mentality comes in on how to get what you want. Okay? Without being, you know bossy or like his mom okay you got to trick people into thinking stuff was their idea in the first place but the second thing is why are men leaving their like long time wives or long time girlfriends for something else they get tired they get bored if they're not if you're not married to someone and you've been shacking up with them for like five six years and they disappear they never planned on marrying you anyway just so they could have an escape route okay they're like man i'm not married to you i don't have any obligations to you it's easy all I can do is just get up and leave and I'm done you know no explanation yeah you wasted 10 years of your life with me but that's your dumb fault right so ladies don't shack up with the man for over two years if he's not willing to make a full commitment and marry you okay after two years if he's not talking about marriage move on okay or kick him out because um, a lot of guys are just using you for half the rent or using you for the whole rent depending on what type of woman you are so let's just say you're married and your man all of a sudden leaves you and says, look, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. It's been 15, 16 years and you're like, oh my God. And he left you for a younger woman or a different type of woman. What do you do? Well, first of all, he left you because he's tired of you. You're boring. You're old. He's already been there and done that. He wants something new and exciting. He's going through a middle life crisis, a midlife crisis as they call it. He wants something to make him feel manly, young, like he feels like his life is halfway over and he wants to enjoy it again. And, you know, if he's with someone who's blah, you know, boring, doesn't want to go out anymore, stuck at home with the kids, this is when men start getting stir crazy. Okay, so that's why a lot of women, y'all got to find babysitters, y'all got to go out with y'all's guys, y'all y'all got to change up your look, y'all got to keep up with the latest things, the latest trends, because guys and uh like to feel young especially when they're getting older they're feeling like oh did I, do i still have it do i still have it can i go out there and pull another woman okay and most men get this that's why when they get older they go buy a sports car or you know do buy some stylish clothes or go on vacations and stuff they want to feel young so if you're making them feel older and dragging them down instead of keeping up with the you know if you're always up on the latest trends and you're always, you know, got the latest style and you look cute, um, you're going to make them feel young. Okay. They're not going to feel like they're with some old woman. So ladies, you got to take care of yourself. You got to keep up with the latest trends. You got to keep yourself looking good. You got to keep up and do new things. Make, turn him on to some new stuff. Okay. Also sexually, if you're boring in bed and there's some freak out there that's going to do what you won't do, because there always is then he's going to become interested in those things that you're not doing okay and if you're not comfortable doing those type of things and you're just like no way i ain't ever doing that blah 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 blah, and he really pushing for it you know this is the kind of stuff that drives men to cheat and do things with other women 
right? So I'm not saying do it because you know, he might cheat on you. I'm just saying, you know, explore the option. Talk about it. Maybe get some movies, watch it, and say, make him feel like, you know, this is really what you want, you know? Uh, just see how he feels about it. And if he's really pushing for it, you know, maybe you can consider it. And if you just can't consider it, then just tell him, look, I love you. I know this is a fantasy. I got some fantasies too. Do a counter fantasy. Like I got fantasies of doing this, 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 and that to you. Would you want to do that? I'll do this if you do that. And chances are he's going to say no because you're going to make your fantasy really bad so that he'll understand that you're not comfortable just like he's not comfortable. And he'll probably get it out of his mind because now he understands, you know, that you want him to do some stuff that he's not comfortable doing either, okay? So he'll probably either let it go or just, you know, visualize it, you know, and keep it there in the mental instead of trying to go and figure it out physically with somebody else. At least he knows, you know, and you can kind of scoot around the subject or maybe tease with the subject and, you know, in bed or whatever, but never go all the way uh, unless you're comfortable enough later on down the line, you know, whatever. But basically, most guys leave because some women are more freaky. Um, so you have to be aware of that. Keep your sex life active. Keep it fresh. Talk about it a lot. And get it out there on the table. I know when couples are together forever, they feel like, oh, you should be used to being out. But men are sexual creatures. That's all they think about is sex. That's why it's so easy for women to control men, even if it's not, you know, verbally, it's mentally. You know, everything with them revolves around sex, especially with women. Um, so... If you can understand all of that and use it to your advantage, then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to keep your man. He's not gonna be out there looking for something younger and more freaky because you're already gonna be exactly that. You're gonna keep your appearance up. You're gonna, you know, try to stop from looking like an old woman. You're gonna dye those gray hairs. You're gonna put your makeup on every day. You're gonna go and listen to the latest music, get the latest trends, and try to keep up because. Once you fall behind and you look like a has-been and your husband is seeing all these, you know, really pretty girls who have the new styles, the new, you know, this and that, and you're still, like, doing your makeup from the 80s or the 70s or whatever, and everything has changed and you just look like a has-been, they're going to start seeing you like that, like as an old motherly figure. So you got to keep up. I mean, it's like... If you're not comfortable with doing that, then just imagine how uncomfortable you're going to be when he goes out, cheats on you, or tries to replace you with something, a new model, let's just say. Okay, a lot of people are saying, well, when you get old, your husband's going to replace you with a new model, and you're just with him because of his money, and he's going to find somebody younger. I, could, I don't even, like, I married a guy who, I am the younger model, okay? I married an older guy, just so, like... If that happens, he's going to be super old. So what's he going to get? <laughs> okay, I'm young. So that's so why I always push for, if you want a guy with money, if you want a guy that's stable, go for an older guy because they won't leave you for a younger girl because you are younger, okay? Uh, chances are they'll probably have been divorced from an older woman and you're a breath, breath of fresh air to them. They're going to be like, oh my God, she's so young. She's so youthful. She makes me feel young, blah, 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 blah. If they go any younger, they're going to feel old, okay? So you make sure you get a man who, if they, uh, you know, they're already a little bit older. Because if my husband went out and got anyone younger than me, he would feel super old. So they would work in reverse on him. So I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> Keep your appearance up. Stay on to the latest trends. Talk about things sexually. Um, and starting like if if you can't do this and you're just like you know what he left me I'm good let me start over if you try to get your groove back as I call it do the same thing go get a new look update your wardrobe update your makeup update your hairstyle update your language because I know people that still using language from the 80s or that's not even in like no okay your your vocabulary will give it away and if some people deem you, oh my God, they're still saying that, oh, that's so uncool, you know, ooh, they still say, you know, someone, someone was telling me something the other day, like, and like, be careful how you speak because like, 
people will laugh at you if you're not up to date. Like everything is, you know, so modern and there's so much technology in the world. If you slip up and say something's like wrong, they're gonna be like, oh, he's old. He still says, he still talks about taping stuff or like, you know how when you DVR something or record something to watch it later on the digital recorder. Some people still say, I tape. <laughs> I'm like, you, you tape? Okay, you must be old. Uh, so watch your language because some people will give their language away. And when something is out of style, when the trend is over, give it away, put it away. Don't try to keep wearing fanny packs and um, stuff like that because it's aging you, <laughs> okay? Um, <laughs> you don't know how many people I see with stuff that gives their age away. Uh, they'll still have something from like 1995 and they'll still have it and just like, oh, this is my favorite, blah, blah, blah. No, throw it away, get rid of it. It's retro now, <laughs> okay? Um, but the thing is, yes, you need to stay up on the latest trends. When you reinvent yourself, you reinvent your attitude as well. If you, if there was something about you that you didn't like about yourself, that was your weakness, change it. Do the opposite. You know, if you were too nice to people, be a bitch. If you were too bitchy to people, be nice. You know, change because obviously, you know, what you did before didn't really work. So you need to do a whole new inside and outside makeover. Um, and it'll be fun, it's like an adventure and you'll see how people respond to you in a different way because you've changed. You know, Sometimes change is necessary to get to your next phase in life. If you're gonna be the same person you were 20 years ago, what's the point of living? You know, you gotta change, you gotta look different, you gotta be different, you gotta, you know, have different and new ideas, consider different things, consider different types of people that you would have never considered before. I know some women who are stuck on looks. And believe me, they got about three, four kids with some very good looking men, but they don't have a ring on their finger and they don't have a house and they don't have this and they don't have that. But they do have good memories of how good looking that man was. But that's all they got because good looks don't pay the rent, y'all, unless you're a woman. <laughs> okay? Um, I'm just saying, women who are caught up on looks lose every time, believe me, okay? Don't get caught up on looks. Looks will not, looks for a man, it's like danger. Like when I, when I see a cute guy, I see danger, 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 because I know he's not going to do what I need him to do for me because of the way he looks. He's gonna feel like, oh, well, I look good. I don't have to do any of that. Women will flock to me. Women will fight for me. Women will stay with me even if I dog them out. I don't have to do anything, okay? That's how the mentality of very attractive men are, most of them. So I don't, I would never date a, or marry a very attractive man, man because I know how they think, okay? And some of them won't because some of them are just, you know, and unless you marry an equally attractive woman and y'all both look good, like Boris Kojo and his wife, you know, that's cool. But if one is not as beautiful as the other, there's going to be an imbalance. And that's good for a woman. But if you're the, if you're the, if the man is the pretty one, it's bad for the woman. So what you need to do is get someone that's not as beautiful as you who thinks you're beautiful, who will do anything to keep you, and who you will always be younger than, okay? I don't suggest marrying younger men or men the same age because women, when they get settled and they get their kids and they just, you know, want to be a homebody, that man is still sexually, you know, turned on by different looking women. They want to go out. They want to have fun until they're about 50, okay? 45, 50, they, you know, especially black men who don't age as fast, they're still going to be out and, a, out and about. So you're not going to want to settle down with someone who's going to find a younger model. You want to be the younger model, okay? Uh, and if you have a thing about age and looks and stuff like that, you're probably going to be the one that has to, you know, work hard, struggle, go through a divorce or a breakup and learn the hard way. Whoever loves you more, whoever treats you better, whoever is going to do the most for you, that's who you go with because they're going to take care of you and their kids, okay? They're not going to go off and abandon you and, and, and his kids to go find some newer looking, younger looking, different person because that's what you're going to be already 
if you look better and they're much older than you okay y'all get it okay all right so anyway i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that if y'all have anything to add please add in the comments and this is just my opinion this is i'm not telling y'all to go out there and do this i'm just saying it works it's a better idea there's less likely a chance for you getting left high and dry and you benefit from it okay your your youth is to have fun to date the cute guys to date the models i've dated supermodels i've dated cute guys i've dated yes i, I yes i did um i've done all that when i was young but i knew i was never going to marry one of those type of guys i knew the type of man i wanted i wanted my man to treat me like a goddess so i picked the right one all right i'll see y'all later